Today I'll be using the model 625 HD hand dredge and the experimental gravity trap concentrator. Now yesterday I used the experimental gravity trap concentrator at an angle of about such and it was able to trap all of the gold. Today I'm going to do the same thing. Once again, I'm going to use a bucket and the modified bucket lid, the experimental gravity trap concentrator, and the model 625 HDP to hand dredge along that bedrock over there where I've been getting the nice sized flakes of gold. You can tell this is the hand dredge because it has the discharge valve following the 90 degree elbow. Today on this one I'll also have the telescoping pipe assembly which is two 12 inch sections of thin wall PVC pipe and a locking collar, the inch and a half steel lined restrictor nozzle. I'll be starting out at about 14 inches of pipe length. Okay, I'm all done sleuthing the two and a half to three buckets of classified material. Ran everything through here and there appears to be no gold in the staging area. Now I haven't panned out, but it's safe to assume if there's no gold showing in there, then there shouldn't be very much gold down farther in the riffles. Now, it's time to pan out what was in the experimental gravity trap concentrator. This is the material from the concentrator. While I was underwater, I emptied it out a couple of times. That way I could start over again. So anyway, now let's see what's in there. There we go, one little flake right there, for starters. Gold already showing right there, very good. More nice gold showing. Very good. Oh. <sighs> 
And there's some more. Good. And that's the third pen. Had gold in it. Time to see what the final tally is for this pan out of the experimental gravity trap concentrator. Not bad. Good showing of gold. Coarser gold. That's good. like that. You decide whether the experimental gravity trap concentrator is right for you.